Oh, buddy, this is an excellent rectangle. Hey, this episode of Some Gadget Guy is brought to you by viewers like you. All the folks who share content on social media, you're pretty keen. And of course, the incredible generosity of my patrons at patreon.com slash some gadget guy. More info on those awesome nerds later in the video. All right, the folks at Acasis sent this my way to test drive and share my thoughts. This is the Acasis dual drive enclosure docking station. On their website, it's called the 40 gigabit per second Thunderbolt M.2 NVMe two bay RAID SSD enclosure. It's a mini portable RAID box and it offers up a few additional ports along the sides that help expand your laptop or your mini PC. Now, part of this conclusion right at the top of the video, this thing is rad. This is a solid solution for packing big storage on the go, or I mean, if you need to upgrade a PC where space is at a premium, it's a Swiss army knife solution that can fit a variety of different roles. Now, I really dig it when a company makes like really big claims and then those claims just all sort of work, like how the company says all the claims are gonna work. It's a small metal chunk. It's smaller than most of the power banks that I like to travel with, with ports along the sides. And Acasis made this a tool-free solution, which I think is very appreciated. The setup is very well considered. Uh, just starting around the outside, we've got a power input next to a fan toggle switch. On the opposite long side, we've got a 10 gigabit per second USB-A port. On one of the short sides, we've got an HDMI port that supports up to 4K 60 frame per second video. And then on the opposite side, we've got a pair of USB-C. Both of these rated at 40 gigabit per second. This one's more of a host to the system that you're connecting it to or to daisy chain. And this one is an output that can also support another monitor. When two monitors are connected, they can both support 4K 60, or if you're only going over the USB-C, you can support 8K video. Top of the enclosure has a fan, and this whole thing opens with just a medium amount of force. We've got little pins, we got little ball bearings here that kind of snap everything in place, and this isn't gonna pop open when you're just kind of running around with this in your backpack. <laughs> Please pardon the terrible job I did of applying these thermal pads. I've been taking drives in and out of this for a couple days now, but uh, inside we've got room for two slots, uh, NVMe SSDs. The Acasis can run with one drive or with both installed, and it's these little touches that I really like. There is no screw to install the drives. You just get these plastic plugs that help seat the SSDs and then closing the case. The fan is powered by these two little pogo pins that hit these strips on the top. So you also don't have like, like a ribbon cable or something awkward in the way. Installing the drives and doing a terrible job of applying the thermal pads took me minutes. I mean, it took me so much longer to pull these out of my little Project Mini PCs than it took me to put this whole box together. And all in hardware, here you have a functional portable drive. It's all plug and play. So two drives are going to show up as two individual drives in your operating system, but you're ready to use it without any software or any other drivers required. Now, because they just pop up as individual drives, you can use Windows or Linux or Mac OS to set up a RAID. You can stripe the drives for one theoretically faster bucket. You can mirror the drives for data redundancy, or you can treat the drives as one large volume, but it's not striped. Each bay will support up to an eight terabyte drive. Unfortunately, all I had to play with were some older 512 gig PCIe three x four drives, so I know I'm not even maxing out the throughput of this enclosure. That said, it's still pretty fast though. Now, here's one of the things I don't quite understand. I installed these drives and I ran a bench and I got some pretty good speeds. Then I striped the drives and running the same bench, I got terrible scores, but actual file transfers were noticeably faster, peaking at around two gig and with a much higher sustained transfer rate than what the test bench was scoring. So I've run several different permutations of this transfer and bench and it just seems wonky. So I'm legitimately asking out to my audience, you know, what might I be missing if I'm trying to rely on a synthetic benchmark, but I can actually demonstrate practical real world speeds that are better than that synthetic benchmark. I'm pretty sure the drive is doing what it needs to, but I'm doing something wrong trying to test it. And other file transfers through this enclosure when you have other media connected to it are equally as fast as connecting directly to the PC, which reinforces the claim from Acasis that this could be used as a daisy chain setup. The perfect solution when you just need 32 terabytes of storage that can fit in some cargo shorts. Okay, so the funny part of this performance for me, if this had been released a couple years ago, I would have praised it for being significantly quieter than any 
of my Windows laptops and you never would have heard this little fan next to an Intel gaming or workstation grade laptop, but now with MacBooks and Windows on ARM chips, this fan is a touch louder than my Surface fan, but I think it's a reasonable volume for the components used and, and actually for such a small fan, I was very appreciative of the fan tone, that it's not super high pitched or buzzy or whiny or shrill. Lastly, just I love seeing more power efficient laptops in Windows land. The Acasis ships with a great little 100 watt power supply, which can send 60 watt power through this USB-C here. That's a little lean for a beefy gaming rig with a dedicated GPU, but it's great for an ARM powered PC. This is such a great little enclosure built to be a solid little hub. And I've been complaining for a while how laptops need more ports and better expansion and that we shouldn't lose the functionality built into a laptop just because we want a slim sleek system. The reality of the modern work laptop means that we need to supply accessories to fill all of these gaps. Working with video and media and audio or just wanting a huge bucket of data to play with, Acasis brings a lot of potential. We're really not that far removed from a traditional laptop hub. And you could definitely daisy chain more USB-C ports off of the port here, which would empower all of your other connections like ethernet or high quality audio. And I can still work dual display from this enclosure with a USB 4 port still free on my surface. <laughs> Laptop manufacturers have definitely made this messier than they need to, but accessories like this help a lot. So I will, of course, leave a link down below where you can find more information on the Acasis Thunderbolt dual drive enclosure docking station. You might also see it referenced as the TBU405 Pro Max, product name that totally rolls off the tongue and is super accessible for YouTube SEO and search and it's what all the kids are looking for these days. Glumsy naming convention notwithstanding though, this is an excellent rectangle. All right, folks, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel. A huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the folks that are uh, supporting me on the Patreon. It's patreon.com slash some gadget guy. I love digging into testing this kind of stuff, uh, working through my mini PCs and my laptop reviews. And the folks who get to see the results of my testing first are my amazing patrons. They're helping to keep the lights on here in the gadget lab. And they're just genuinely really fun nerds to hang out with. So I hope you'll check them out. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet at some gadget guy, basically everywhere. But these days I'm trying to spend a bit more time on the Mastodons, a little less so on the Facebooks and the Instagrams, <laughs> definitely not on the Twitters, and I will catch you all on the next review.